Jeff, I know how disappointed you were after that Austin P loss on Saturday. Uh, now it's been a couple days. You've had a chance to reflect on it. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, we just got to finish. You know, I feel like we did everything that we needed to do to win, except for get stops on the defensive end and take care of the ball. So that's just something that we got to work on. Is the team still staying together despite a loss like that? Because sometimes those can be difficult uh, toward the end of the game. I mean, we still stand together. I mean, we all hung out this weekend. You know, everybody was smiling. Everybody was in good spirits. So we we're fine. Did you get together for a Super Bowl party or something like that? Or? <laughs> yeah, and then we all just hung out at the park. The Thursday Saturday thing. Uh, Saturday hasn't been good to you guys over the last uh, month or so. Uh, do you think fatigue has anything to do with that? Since your bench is as short as it is. No, fatigue is just a mind thing. We all just got to stop making excuses, especially myself, and just get the job done. Um, Jeff, you've been playing pretty well in conference play. How do you plan on trying to continue that? Just what, what are maybe some of the methods and the madness that you go behind continuing this great streak of play? Uh, just keep taking good shots, you know. Just get my shots within the offense. And, Whenever my teammates put me in a position to be successful, just step up and knock the shot down with confidence. It seems like Coach has kind of challenged uh, you guys to, to bounce back after this because you, know, you have five regular season games left uh, in trying to get you know a good season in the OBC tournament. Um, what has he told you all about going forward and how you all need to approach everything? Uh, take everything day by day. Just focus on getting better today and just building each day to get better as a team. How do you feel about your little brother coming to Murray State to play football? Uh, I'm very proud of him. I remember four years ago, well, five years ago, when I saw my letter of intent, I told him just keep working hard, keep God first and be humble, and you'll be up here one day too. And he did it, and I'm very proud of him for it. Did he want to be at Murray State even then at that point, just knowing that his big brother was coming to Murray State, or was he keeping his options open? Uh, I mean, my mom sent me a video of his speech, and he said I was his role model, and he always wanted to be like me, and he always wanted to follow in my footsteps. So, I mean, I guess, I guess that's what he did. You have had, uh, early on, you struggled a little bit, but that happens, you're on a hot streak right now. But most everyone has had a struggle at one point this season. Right now, Bryce struggling with his game a little bit. It happens to every athlete. Do you offer advice when you have a teammate struggling as a senior since you've been through that before? Anything you can do to help them? I mean, the best advice is to keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, don't lose sight of what got you in the position that you're in now. I mean, after the game, I taste him and told him in my eyes. I still believe he's the best point guard in OBC, and I'm going to have his back until, until my season's over with. Going into this weekend, SIUE, SEMO again, does it give you any kind of boost knowing you've already beaten these two teams? Does it give you any extra confidence? Or? I mean, it doesn't give me any confidence that we already beat them. It just gives me confidence that I know what type of team we have, and I know the character of our team, and I know we're going to bounce back. Jeff, can you talk a little bit about, I was asking Coach about some of the trends in the losses that you guys have had that have been so close, that have been maybe maybe six, eight point leads. Are you seeing trends on the floor as a player that are leading to some of these quick collapses? Is there anything that's just jumping out at you or is it just <coughs> other teams giving you that last final good shot? Uh, things I see is we're just not locked in on the defensive end, sometimes on the offensive end. You know, we get too loose. You know, we turn the ball over, or we don't close out the right way, or we don't guard the ball. We just, sometimes in games, we just lose focus, and then we end up paying the price for it. Jeff, the last time uh, you faced Edwardsville, Barack Eslick came in unbelievably hot. You held him to three points. Uh, fantastic effort. But even after the game, you said you knew he would be waiting for you. And, that time has arrived. Uh, are you looking forward to that assignment again? I'm definitely looking forward because on Saturday night, I was terrible on the defensive end. Um, so it's a huge test for me, and I'm looking forward to it.